when we find that perfect soulmate, you feel happier than ever before and capable of moving mountains. Unfortunately, breakups happen, and they can happen to anyone. Some breakups are permanent, while others can be undone with the right steps. So before we go into advanced techniques, let's talk about the basics. If you want your ex back, you need to avoid giving up who you are. That is, giving your soul to them. It's normal to want to do everything humanly possible to get your ex back. But you don't have to drop to your knees begging and promising the world simply because you want him or her back so badly. Instead, you need to be strong, stay calm and believe you will do just fine without him or her. This attitude will set the stage when you resume communication with them. You will be on equal footing. Now, think about you for a minute. What is your wow factor? You need to be creative here. The same old you needs to be done away with. Only a newer you is going to be much more successful when it comes to getting back with your ex. The old you contributed to the end of the relationship. So it is time to create a wow factor. But you have to be realistic. You have to do just enough to change your life, like exercise more or getting a better job. Changes that you will be able to maintain over the long run. Do something to create a better image of whom you are becoming. And your ex will surely notice and respond well to the positive changes. But again, don't create something phony just to get them back. They will find it hard to believe and trust and you will never be able to keep the charade for long. Also, never forget how the breakup happened. While you should not allow past mistakes to hang over your head, you should not forget about what led to the breakup either. Take what happened in the past and honestly look at those events as a learning experience and a reminder of what you need to avoid in the future. You are likely not 100% responsible for the breakup, but you need to face what you did wrong and focus on correcting that behavior. Forgive and forget what your ex did wrong. This is the best way to make sure that you will not allow history to repeat itself, should you get back with your ex sometime in the future. Create a solid plan of action and work your plan. Don't make the fatal mistake of hoping that if you just emotionally go all out, you'll have good results. Emotional action makes you appear needy, and this is a definite turnoff. You need to show that you are the master of yourself and confident in whom you are, operating as if failure is not an option. If you put some thought into the process, you will be a lot more successful at scoring your ex back. Approach the situation with a plan and you will be able to get your ex back sooner than you might think.